The best thing all of us seem to want is to be seen, to be for who we are, to be, um, to be heard, and even to understand for myself at this moment, right now, this is who I am. And I don't, I think we offer a unique um, potential for this kind of experience. I don't think anything else in, in our culture offers us that same thing. Hancock Center is a center for dance movement therapy, and dance movement therapy is a form of psychotherapy that uses creative movement and functional movement to work on feelings. In a dance movement therapy session, we're interested in integrating not just the words, not just what people are talking about in terms of their issues or their emotions, but also um, their body and how they may um, be feeling physically about those feelings and emotions. All right. So let's see, the babies try their wings. They try. We try to have as much supportive stuff here as possible, whether it's music, whether it's props, whether it's colorful scarves, whether it's uh, cushions and mats, so that if what's going to help me is for me to get bodily in motion. Um, that's going to be very invited here. We have an in-school program which we provide therapy to children that are identified as um, being victims of trauma or abuse. Then we also have a violence prevention program at the elementary school level in which um, it's more of a psychoeducational program. It's not considered therapy. It is learning proactive behaviors to not get bullied and how to have self-esteem, how to stand up for yourself. Space to my left, space to my right, space all around me, buckled and bright. This program is also really very therapeutic. The kids get help to manage themselves and their, their, their uh, relationship to their own emotions, their ability to deal with other children. The school program is one program. We work at the center and we see children from age two to adults through age 70 or 80. I mean, whoever comes and needs it, we see them. People misunderstand dance movement therapy. They think it's a place where people are going to come in and learn how to dance or learn how to move or learn how to sit up straight or learn how to relate in movement in a prescribed sort of a way. That is not at all what we're about. We use the everyday organic movements that come from the inside of people. So we're just going to um, not be fully in movement right now, but just starting to drop in to feel into your Breathing, you don't have to change anything about your breath. Just notice where your breath is right now. Is it pretty tight? Does it feel pretty fluid? Yeah, and feel free to adjust or move your body in any way. You can cross or uncross your legs. I'll tell you about a group that I have this year. Um, four kindergarten children all dealing with violence in the home. And one of the girls in the group who was vocal about having anger but never, didn't show it, right, except when we played with the anger. So here is this little five-year-old kid uh, bruising her mom, scratching her mom, biting her mom, having tantrums around everything at home. Before the program, she was having many behavioral issues, not so much in school, but at home. She was very, uh, disruptive and emotional and it got to be a big problem where I couldn't take her places and we couldn't do things in public and it was really difficult. So the next week the mom said to me, you wouldn't believe this. I said, I don't know what you did last week, but my daughter started to get mad. She started to have a tantrum. She looked at me and then she went, Rena! And she turned around, took some breaths, and walked away. She said, I don't know what you did. I said, I don't know either. <laughs> but I think what happened was just acknowledging the anger for her, saying that she now had a place that she could express it, talk about it, play with it, 
and learned to modulate gave her relief. It's really cool. I mean, people laugh at us sometimes. A lot of people do because, you know, you see a little five-year-old walking around being like, calm, calm. It's kind of funny, but I don't care. It certainly saves me a lot of headaches. I mean, our trips to the grocery store used to be like three hours long because we couldn't get through an aisle without a screaming fit, and now they're just normal. Movement is, can be, for some people, the way to go. It's the way in, it's the way people begin to feel connected, begin to connect with what is healthy and what is good in their life. I really deeply believe is if every little one coming into elementary school had a creative movement and a movement therapy experience available to them, we psychotherapists would go out of business. And I think that would be wonderful.